ladies and gentlemen, CPS Boxing News Inc. Over here, Senior Benavides. Welcome to New York City. How are you thank feeling? You, thank you, man. I'm super happy, super excited for this fight. Uh, El Rayo Venezuela against Pitbull. Man, a great fight. I guarantee you there's going to be a knockout right there. Both of these guys are hungry. One doesn't want to let that bell go away. The other one's trying to get that bell. So super excited, super happy. I want to thank Pitbull and his whole team for the opportunity uh, for, for letting uh, Rayo fight for that title. Hey, yeah, I think it is one of the fights that, you know, many people that were expecting because, hey, these fighters right now are 140. They, they're now, you know, waiting until like probably a different year. They're taking challenges, and I think it, Rajo is taking one of the tests, you know, that, you know, a lot of people consider Pitbull, you know, a tough test. I don't know if he, you know, if you you agree with it or? Yeah, yeah, it's a tough test for Pitbull, you know, he's fighting a left-hander, you know. Uh, Rajo Valenzuela uh, is at his best right now, he's been training hard, super motivated. He uh, went to uh, some rough times and he learned from it. He matured a lot and he knows that this is the thing. Maybe if he would have been winning, he wouldn't have got this opportunity. But now, you know, I think it, it, it worked out great for him. Hey, I wish nothing but the best for your team, for Rajo as well, because eventually every time that these people come and perform, you know, it's, it's like, a, to me, in my behalf, you know, respect for both both fighters because they bring us a show and they put everything on the line. Yeah, for sure. This is the fight that everybody wants to see, fights like this. Two young guys, you know, very talented. And like I said, I'm excited as a fan, you know, I can't wait for that day to be there and watch the fight live, you know, and and uh, super excited, man. To, to, I can't wait for the day. And um, it's going to be great, like I said, you know, I guarantee there is going to be a knockout. You know, um, these guys are going to steal the show. Hey, definitely, I agree with you that both fighters, they come in and put in everything on the line. And we got to tune in, you know, and check these fights. I'm um, talking about fights and everything like that. I know, you know, you know, it's your son, David Benavides, and we'll definitely, you know, paying attention to what's coming on. Talk about, you know, a little bit of his fight, Alexander. Yeah, David's super uh, motivated, he's ready, uh, and uh, we can't wait for that fight. That's going to be another great fight. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, the winner of that, you know, I'm pretty sure David's going to win. Uh, 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 Alexander is not a pushover, you know, he's an Olympian. He only has one loss, he lost to bet bit. But uh, I'm very confident that David, you know, is, is going to come victorious, and hopefully we could get an opportunity to fight the winner of bet to bit and um, be bold. And if something happens at 168, you know, that we can fight for the title, we'll probably come down and fight for the title 168. If not, David also wants to fight uh, Sudo Ramirez, maybe a uh, catch weight uh, uh, for his belt. So okay. I think, man, uh, we're in a great spot. We're super motivated, super happy, and super blessed uh, in what we're doing. Uh, and it's uh, El Monstro of Time, you know, it's his era. So he's, uh, uh, he, he's, uh, he's going to continue working hard. and improving himself so he makes uh, history. Uh, definitely, you know, I totally agree with you. Hey, um, talking about a little different topic right now, I know, I don't know if you got, you know, females training in your gym, but eventually, you know, I'm pretty sure you do. What's your thoughts on women's boxing eventually? Amanda Serrano, Katie Taylor, it's coming ahead and, you know, What's your thoughts it's on it? It's great, man. You know, I love it. You know, these girls sometimes, they want to prove more than the guys. So these girls, you know, when they come in, they come to fight, man. And super exciting, super motivating, you know, for little girls, you know, to, to box. And I think it's a great thing for boxing, you know. At the end of the day, you know, I have a daughter, you know. I wish that she can box. So uh, it's, a, it's a good example, you know. And it, I'm super happy, bro. To be honest with you, I follow them. I, I follow women's boxing. And I want to give my support to women's boxing. And uh, I enjoy it. Every, every, every fight. I, I, I agree with you because eventually, you know, these things we have to come up and support more women's boxing. Yeah. And eventually, uh, you know, it's a, you know they put in a great performance and everything like that. Uh, we will stay tuned, you know, in all these things and all these fights. Any message that you would like to add to this interview before we wrap her up? Yeah, no, I just want to thank all the fans. Uh, that be, be patient. You know, I know they keep bringing Canelo, 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 but at I the know. end of the day, you know, we can't be waiting here. So he's asking for $200 million, mm. you know, so, you know, that's the way of not trying to make that fight. So, I mean, we're going to continue uh, pro uh, proving ourselves and uh, keep going and see where the life takes us. Hopefully it happens because at the end of the day, I consider that David deserves this fight. He's been waiting for so long. He's been fighting for this opportunity, and we don't know what you know Canelo is thinking. I mean, the fight fans, they, they call in this fight. They, they expect in this fight. Probably if he, he comes out victorious against Jaime Munguia, we might, you know, if it turns, you know, fix 
and all managers and, and everyone, including yourself, you know, they come up with some agreement that on September that will be a great, you know, yeah, yeah. game. We're, like I said, we're staying positive. We, we just got to focus on what we have in front of us. Of course. We cannot underestimate uh, Alexander Bolsic. You know, we got to do our job first and then focus on the other thing. You know, we cannot underestimate this guy. It's a tough fight. Uh, it's a great fight for us. And like I said, David's super motivated. Uh, on my heart, I know 100% he's going to come victorious. But like I said, you know, we got to focus on, on, on Alexander at 175. We will stay tuned on all these fights and eventually continue supporting boxing and, of course, women's boxing, as you mentioned as well, that you are one of the supporters. Thank you for yeah, and a this big interview. Shout out, a big shout-out for all those women boxers, amateurs, and people that just started, all these women that just started boxing and, and their champion now. My, my respect and, and super happy for them. Thank you, Mr. David. I appreciate for your time.